morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back, everybody. Hey, how's everybody doing so far? I wanna see weights. What did you guys weigh in? Did you guys lose any weight uh, so far on the September? Hard push for weight loss before the holidays challenge. Anyway, you guys, today is a no dairy day Protein sparing, modified fast, it's a high protein day, high priority. Prioritize your protein. Have just enough carbs and just enough fat. Don't go over 10 grams of carbs total. Do not go over 30 grams of fat total and take a walk. You guys, whoo, we had a ball yesterday throwing axes and throwing the ninja stars and throwing the ninja car. Let me tell you, those things are sharp. Those ninja stars, oh, yeah. you, I was afraid to throw them very much because every single side of them is a, a blade. razor blade. Yeah. The card that Chalice and Harry threw is a razor all the way around. So you have to be careful with that. We had a ball. It was fun. We went to the Longhorn restaurant afterwards. It was a carnivore day yesterday for us. So Harry and I shared an order of the chicken wings. And we also shared a 16 ounce ribeye steak. And um, we just had a really, really, really good time. Had fun, had fun. Now, you guys, yesterday for breakfast, come on over here, Harry. I had uh, three eggs that I cooked both of our eggs and a tablespoon of butter, eight ounces of a ribeye, you know, give or take. Mine had a bone in it and I couldn't cut some of it. It was gristly. We had five chicken wings. Now we did have ranch. Yes, we did, just a little bit. Collagen, three tablespoons, key two creamer. So we had 1% carbs for a total of four. We had 64% six, fat for a total of 84. We had 35% protein for a total of 107. We had uh, 1,231 calories. Now you guys, Longhorn Restaurant uses a salt and pepper seasoning. I know it, it has hidden carbs. They use salt on their steak. So that's a sodium that Harry and I tend to gain water weight from. And if you guys don't remember, or if you're brand new, day before yesterday on Friday, today is Sunday for us, but we're filming as if it's Monday because you're gonna see this Monday. I ate something at work that caused my stomach and intestine to have major get it out of my system as fast as it could. I woke up with a new all-time low. But the challenge when you are sick, you have the flu, you have intestinal issues, all of those things, maybe you can go to an all-time new low. Two things, when you hit an all-time new low, your body wants to bounce back to where it was. It, it, it'll bounce up, you know, you'll retain water, um, because everything that you eat or drink the day before, sometimes two days prior, has a direct effect on water weight, water retention specifically, um, over-the-counter medicines, not getting enough sleep, inflammation, all those good things. So you guys, I am not too surprised that I went up 2.2 pounds. I went up to 174.8. Yeah, I went up a pound four. Harry went up a pound four. We have eaten at Longhorn, and every time we do, we go up in weight. Like I said, the chicken oh, wings we knew we were are keto, to. and we knew we were, but we wanted to have a good time. We wanted to have fun with our kids and enjoy the day. So as long as you are keto and you are choosing the best keto options that you can, you need to just let the dust settle you know, the next day and then move forward. And that's what we're doing. Yep. I know that my electrolytes, I took electrolytes with me yesterday. You're allowed to take uh, beverages into um, the Axe. What was the name of it again? Bad Axe. Yeah. Axe. B-A-D-A-Z. -A Bad Arizona, I guess yeah. is what it is. There's also a Lumberjacks one in Surprise, Arizona as well so if you guys live in arizona you guys want to do it google it because there's the axman there's bad a az and i know there's more so um you know it was really fun i think what it was it 54 dollars for an hour 25 dollars a person 25 dollars a person which is not bad you have to sign a waiver and and a lot of things like that but that's not a bad 
price for an hour's worth of fun. Mm -hmm. It was really fun. Oh, I enjoyed so, it. Yeah. So we really, really enjoyed ourselves. Now, last night when I came home, I made uh, Maria Emmerich's from the Art of Weight Loss uh, cake, angel food cake, and I have to go to the store and get the frostings for that because I'm taking this to Chalice and David's. It's right here. It's unfrosted. Yeah, because we're going there today again. Yeah, we're going there today. I can't share the recipe, but if you guys want it, I believe Maria Emmerich has, she has a huge recipe index on her website, mariamindbodyhealth.com. And you can pull things like that Thanksgiving stuffing recipe, the Protein Spray Modify Fast off of that. It's free to you. So I suggest doing that. I love the book. I really, really do. And that cake is really delicious. Now, someone said to me today that she made that cake and she was disappointed because it wasn't as sweet. When you are cooking with egg whites, I personally have found that when I taste it, it's sweet, but when it cooks, it absorbs and dampens the sweetness. So I make mine more sweet in raw state so that it comes out sweet on the cooked end. I think the egg whites just absorb and nullify the sweetness. But I don't, I am not a super taster either. So I need more sweet, more salt, more spices in my foods, but that's what I do. So I'm, that one's the strawberry one. I got the, uh, the uh, strawberry egg white protein powder from J, what's his name? J Rod? J, here, move and let me get to the cupboard. Um, I used it. I was very disappointed in this. I spent the bucks, J. Raw, to get the strawberry flavored. You guys, there's hardly any in here. Because you have to use a cup. And it comes with a little scoop too. It really is good, but I would suggest, this is just me, if you're money conscious, and I think most of us are, the most bang for your buck, use that now orange container, five pound container, plain, and make your own flavoring adding the drops to the dry mix like I do because I think this is too expensive. It's just me. It's just me for what do I got. Do you remember how much you paid for that? Um, I can, you can look it up online, oh, okay. but um, yeah. Even using um, the discount code that you can get by going through Maria's site, I just find that just to get that flavor, it was good and it worked. The cake's delicious. I cut a little dinky winky slice out to make sure. Um, I'm going to go with my unflavored egg white protein powder from now that the company's name is now and I shared that it's in the back room and I'm just going to sweeten it. So next time I do that, I'll show you guys how I sweeten the dry powder. But um, yeah, I got chocolate too, but I'm not, that's the first and only time I think I'm going to get that. So just me, just how I think and feel. Um, another thing I did is yesterday, you guys, I took that erythritol that I had sitting here, the one that had the monk fruit in it and the plain one, and I mixed both of those bags up and put it in that container in their still room. These containers are fabulous. These, they're great. Oh, the big ones? Yeah, the big ones. Look at this. My erythritol, that's both of those bags. I could put three of those bags, and I think there were 48 ounces yeah. in there. So I mixed it up really, really good so that the erythritol has the monk fruit blend throughout it um, to use. But I was, um, the taste is delicious. And if price isn't a, isn't a problem for you, and it's easier for you just to get the, the flavored egg white protein powder then do so otherwise do like I'm doing put my dry ingredients together you know drip my flavoring in you know stir it up so that it absorbs the moisture in throughout the the dry mix and then put that in at the end and I use my little shoot Harry was so busy um 
What do you do with the film? Editing, Editing and getting it uploaded that I was just in here baking. I thought, you know what? I want to make a protein spray modified fast cake and take it to Chalice and Dave's because Chalice is having, and I don't know if I'm going to be allowed to film it or not, but she's getting uh, the ablation, her eyebrows done, you know, where they put the eyebrows in. She's like me. She's got like see-through eyebrows. You can hardly see them. You're so talking about the tattooing. The, the, yeah. The uh actually come she comes to their house yeah she's coming to the house so i'm excited about that so we need to get out the door i got my mask on we need to go get gas we need to go to costco i need butter i need egg whites i need green tea there's a lot of things and i'll share if i see anything new that's keto there we need to go to bashes i need to get some really lean inexpensive beef steaks like ribeye steaks like chuck roast because i have something that I'm going to be sharing with everybody that I'm very, very excited about. So when it comes and when we get ready, you guys will know what I'm talking about. But I'm very excited about that. And you can use really cheap wing cuts of meat with it too. And it turns out tender and delicious. That's just a little teaser. So anyway, you guys, Harry needs to get to the big board so we can get out the door. Oh, you need to draw a, a purple line around it to show we went out to eat there. Oh, right, right, right. Purple. 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 It's purple. That way we know when we look at our calendar later that we went out to eat. Right? Yep. Did you have fun yesterday throwing axes? Oh, yeah, I had a blast. Well, you kept throwing it like a knife. You kept telling me you kept throwing it one-handed because it... At, at first, I was trying to throw it like a grenade. That's not a good thing. You know, which is, you know, you put your arm... It, it, there's a balance point. So, you aim at what you're trying to throw at and then lob it. So, <laughs> yeah, I had, I had a hard time. Then I started throwing it like a knife. And then I started just throwing it to see what happened. You know? Yeah, fine. But then I throw like a like I'm throwing a baseball. Yeah. Anyway, I, you had you know, fun. I, I had didn't a good you? time. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. Was so, anyways, yeah, we went up. She went up two tents. I went up one and four. Um, and we know it's. I mean, come on. We didn't really eat all that much yesterday. No. So for us to go much that much, you know that it's all water. And we split it. We split the meat and the and the and the chicken wings and told them no side, no bread, no this, no that, no the other thing. We only ate one thousand two hundred thirty-one calories. Okay, there's no way that means actually Wendy, if it was to if she was to go up two pounds in fat, she would, have had to, she would have had to be close to eight thousand calories. Yes, yeah. and that would be so. Okay. That's how you know that it's water because you look at the calories you ate. You know it takes what around thirty six hundred calories, thirty five, thirty five to make a or make, three, yeah. to make a pound of fat. So you can almost you, you know it's water. You know, so all you got to do is get rid of that bad, because all these all these restaurants they use the bad salt. So, anyways, so and my intestines. Yeah, that's true. So, anyways, that's really about it. But that's the best thing to remember, just about how you can tell if it's water or not. And because I flushed so much water out of my system so quickly, my body is storing the water. It's holding oh yeah, it. man, you're gonna it's hold it. It's an equilibrium rebalance yeah. that it's doing. So I know tomorrow I'll come down and I know eventually I'll come back down to that in a couple days. So I'm not worried about it. Right. Anyway, you guys, we need to get out the door because we got a lot to do. So we'll bring you guys along with us. We'll share everything. Harry, I think we're masking it again. They're bringing the mandates back for a lot of the zombie apocalypse but, uh, lockdown virus stuff. Um, around Arizona because we have an uptick here with the really nasty uh, D zombies they're running around town so we have to be very careful of that anyway everybody we'll see you guys in the next segment a few of you viewers have asked me where I got my copper uh, red copper pans these were a gift thank you so much but I want to share where they came from here's the name of the company Now, I, they don't come with the lid. You can buy the lid, but the lids, they have the measurements for the lids on their websites, too. Because I use the lid because I like to baste my eggs. I like to cover my frying pan. So I just wanted to share that. The big one's the same. 
Um, and the I'm very excited is, uh, because, yeah, we already used that yeah. yesterday and haven't rewashed it. But anyway, you guys, these are fabulous pans. And I'm telling you, the eggs just slide right out of the pan. You don't have to use any oil if you don't want to. It, they're fabulous. Yeah. And they, they heat evenly. And because of the way they are, you can put them in the refrigerator. I mean, the refrigerator. Well, yeah, you can do that too. <laughs> but you can put them into the oven. Like if you want to brown the top of them or whatever, you can put them in there. So um, if you guys want to get them, that's where you need to go. Bulb. But what was it? But oh man, Wendy, it just went right out my head, you guys. It just went right out my head. Bulb, b u l b, head, h e a d dot com, all one word. Bulb, head, and these are the red copper, and they're fabulous. We love them. Yes, we do. I stuck the old red one that Harry burned. It's for the Goodwill because I'm sure it'll work for somebody who doesn't have a pan. Anyway, you guys, now, got to get out the door. Yes, indeed. Okay, everybody, we're back from, we did a grocery haul at Costco and a grocery haul at Bashes. And you guys, there are holes at Bashes and there are holes on the shelves at Costco. Meat, I was very worried that I'm seeing the lack of the meat and choices at Bashes now. Yeah. So, you guys, Bashes, of course, we got our toilet paper, paper towels. We pick up a big one like this every time we go shopping. Um, I got Boar's Head Ever Roasted um, Low Sodium, $10.99 a pound. I got some chicken. I got uh, six. Of the Philadelphia less one third less fat, I like it best, and I use it for my chaffles, use it for my icing, I use it in baking. Got Sally some of her Faye yogurt for her ice cream days. You guys, the sale on the ground sirloin for ninety percent was on sale for five seventy nine a pound. This was twelve dollars. My Genio uh, turkey was uh, $6.99. It's gone up a it's gone up a dollar on sale, and it was only the 93% instead of the 99. Mom, we got her her extra crunchy Skippy. Oh yeah, my big bag of pumpkin spice caramel came last night from Keto Chow, so I'm excited about that. Oh, yeah. Harry needed some batteries at so this is Bashes that way. This is Costco this way. I was almost out of cinnamon. Got a couple of my eggs, organic eggs. Chosen has changed their uh, containers from glass to plastic, which I'm not thrilled about. I liked glass better. But I got two mayonnaise. Harry got his sugar-free Ricola. Um, I got four, uh, three Kerrygold butter. There were holes in the Kerrygold butter area too. I got organic yellow mustard for Harry because he loves it. I found egg whites at Costco. I was so excited. They only had like half of the shelf area with egg whites in them, but I grabbed two. I Is grabbed two. Refrigerator? Yeah, it's over in the refrigerated aisle. And Mom, I got her her green tea. She drinks green tea every single day. And actually, this was at um, Bash's. I got Harry some rain. He got uh, six rains. Yeah. So anyway, you guys got to put all this away and then we've got to head out to Chalice's because she's having her um, eyebrows done, which I'm really excited to see. So you guys will come back in the next segment. Hi everyone, I am going to make some Wendy's Protein Sparing Modified Fast Italian Seasoned Bread, but I'm making it a little different because I'm going to try to add some of the beef soup base, which is made with beef broth, keto chow. But you guys don't have to add this in order to make your bread, okay? I already have 500 uh, milligrams, or 500 grams, pardon me, of egg whites in my bowl. Here, Harry, you want to see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I'm going to do is add everything dry into here except my cream of tartar, which is going in with the egg whites. So let me get my scoops out. And the oven is all ready to go. So I am going to use just a little less 
then a cup. Just, I don't pack it in at all. Of the plain egg white powder that I have on hand. But I'm going to use a scoop of the uh, beef base soup base, which is bone beef bone broth and beef protein. And I'm going to use a scoop of that. I usually use a tomato base, but I'm just going to use a whole scoop of that. That should taste really delicious. I love using keto chow uh, savory base soups in my bread on protein sperry modified fast days. Now, because we're doing non-dairy, we can't use the chicken, but the chicken is a wonderful addition. It really is. So I am going to uh, now, I have a cup of egg white powder, a cup of, or a scoop of the beef base. I am gonna go light on the allulose, you guys. Allulose is very expensive. A quarter of a cup is four tablespoons. I'm using two. I want it to get a little brown, and I like the texture, but I think it's expensive. So I'm just gonna use two tablespoons and we'll see how it does. Because it browns it and it gives it a, a creamier uh, dough-like crust. So let's see how that does. Now, I need to add a, a teaspoon normally of Italian seasoning but I am going to use my poultry herbs with rose petals, Morton and Bassett. Someone asked me which poultry seasoning is your favorite. It's the, here, Morton and Bassett. I love the addition of the rose petals. I, I really, really do. This is a half a teaspoon, so I'm going to add two halves, which makes a whole. Man, mm, that smells so good. I like that in my gravy too, you guys. Now, I like Redmond seasoned salt, and I use a half a teaspoon. Really makes this bread a savory, delicious bread, doesn't it, Harry? Oh, yeah. It makes it so delicious. I mean, I'm not a real good, what you call a cook. And then but I've got. A, Go ahead. I'm I see sorry. what you put in certain things, mm -hmm. and I know that it tastes better with certain things. I've got a half a teaspoon of onion, half a teaspoon of garlic, and I want a whole teaspoon of Bragg's Nutritional Yeast. A whole teaspoon. So that'd be two of these. Just gives it that nutty, delicious texture. I've got uh, active dry yeast. I ended up buying a large container. It's cheaper that way. I got Bob's Red Mill. You can get it at Vitacost. You can get it on Amazon. Um, I just wanted a bigger bag because I use it all the time. I think that it gives it a more dough bread-like texture to me, taste to the dough. And I like that. I don't want egg white bread. I want, I want the flavoring. So we're just gonna use, let me see what it says. Da, 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 da. Half a teaspoon. There we go, half a teaspoon. So that is my dry mix. That's my dry mix. I'm gonna get a whisk and I'm just gonna whisk this up. And this is gonna go in once I get my egg whites beat to about seven minutes, which usually is when they give me a nice stiff peak. I'm gonna take some of my Redmond salt and I'm just gonna put a dash, just a dash of salt in my egg whites. As soon as I get my egg whites set up and I wanna get my egg whites fluffed. Just a little bit. Foamy. See this? I'm foaming it up. Then I'm putting a dash of Redmond salt in the batter. And then I'm putting a teaspoon cream of tartar in. So there's two. So 
so I just get two. And then I turn this on high for seven minutes. been seven minutes. I'm going to use my chute, which works wonderfully. I used it. Oops. I I moved the, wait a minute. There. This works wonderfully. So you take your, your can you take, get on this side? Let me get on this side. I don't think I can see how it works. Check it out. It is cool. The problem is, is I've got a lot of, of powdered goods in here. So what I'm going to do with this, because I have so much powder, because it's got the Keto Chow um, beef base in it. I'm going to kind of come in and keep it, try to keep it from poofing. Cause it's gonna, it's gonna poof. It's you gonna guys. poof, yeah. All that we just know is. it's gonna poof, and that's you guys just have to know that it's gonna poof. So it's gonna poof. It's time for the poofing. Pull it down, just get a little bit of this out of the sides and into the middle. Because you don't want to put it on high right now because it can make your bread turn to cardboard or styrofoam actually really quickly. So the trick is to incorporate all the powdered stuff. And since I have the keto chow base, just want to incorporate it. to 10 kind of this smells like an Italian yeah, it, does. <laughs> it smells so heavenly it's my recipe I will post it down in I will pin it to the comments below we need my monitor right now So I'm just gonna bake two loaves of my delicious high protein savory seasoned bread recipe using the beef based instead of my tomato basil based keto chow. You guys, I'm so excited about this. It smells so good, doesn't it? Yep. Well, that's about how it is with egg white protein bread. High protein bread. Mine's Italian. Mm -mm -mm. It smells delish. This one is made with the, again, I did not use my uh, tomato basil keto chow in it. This time I made it with, um, I replaced my Italian seasoning with the delicious poultry seasoning that I love. And then I used the beef base, which I have not, I don't believe I've done that yet, have I? I don't think so either. I don't think I've done the beef base, you guys, so I'm excited to see how it, how it cooks, what it tastes like. That's what I want to know. Now, if you guys don't have keto chow, or you don't want to use keto chow, that's fine. Just make my Italian seasoned bread recipe without the keto chow. 
Same way, you're just not using the keto chow, that's all. And you can either use poultry seasoning or you can use the Italian seasoning. I would use poultry if I'm, if I'm cooking, you know, like a pork or a uh, chicken or poultry. And then I would use the Italian for beef or a spaghetti, you know, Italian tasting um, type of a recipe. Absolutely. That's what I would do. You can change up those seasonings. If you don't like garlic, don't use garlic. If you don't like onion powder, don't use onion powder. But you guys, put a little line, just a little one, not a real deep one. I know you can't see it, but it's there. Trust me, it's there. Here, let me show you. Let me clean the slate. Don't do it too deep, because it'll split your bread in two. So, Get it all nice and purty, and then just draw a little line. Just a little line. That'll split this up, and it'll lay it this way instead of having it topple over as it goes. Huh, Harry? Yeah. Okay, let me get it in the oven. I'm cooking it at 325 for 30 minutes. Watch out, Harry. And then I'm going to let it sit in the oven for about 15 minutes with the oven off. And we'll come back when it's the beef and poultry bread. I'm excited, aren't you? I'm oh, yeah. excited to taste the difference. Love the breads, man. I the do breads too. are like really. But I gotta wash my stuff. Yes, indeed. Okay, you guys, we are having uh, my, that's supposed 95% ground beef. It was a small yes. one. So we're having that. Six ounces each. Harry wants his organic yellow mustard. No yes, way. he does. Got out my fridges. And I've got to have horseradish mustard tonight. Ooh. I want my horseradish mustard because I love this stuff. Zero carbs for a teaspoon. Doesn't take very much. Oops. Now, how did I do that? I just squeezed Love it that out. Sound. I just squeezed it out on top. Ah, I'm anxious to see how the bread cooks with only two tablespoons of allulose. You know, allulose is expensive, so I thought, you know, if I get a little bit of a crust difference, I can do that. And I'm calling this bread with the beef base soup keto chow and the poultry seasoning savory seasoned bread. And then my regular uh, protein sparing modified fast Italian bread is just that. It's the Italian seasoned bread. So they're, they're a little bit different recipes, you guys. Redmond's real salt, gotta have it. Well, they're all pretty much based off of cloud bread, right? No, no? cloud bread is just egg whites and like one other ingredient. So. I don't know. I haven't even yeah. looked at the recipe. I've never oh. made cloud bread, so I don't know. Yeah. I, yeah. Did you Did you read about cloud yeah, bread? Yeah, I read about cloud bread. I think bread. that's an old it was when we yeah, first started Yeah, cloud bread keto. was made 25 years ago by Adkins. Oh. And it was basically made with egg whites, you know, and all this oh, stuff. Oh, is that where pre protein sparing modified fast bread? Yeah, bread I, came I guess from, it all kind comes of from originated that. from. Yeah, but cloud it was bread? called cloud bread. Oh, I heard when we first started keto. There were several people that were using cloud bread. Yeah, and then they've changed it. I have an old Atkins book. i got to get it out and reread it. Anyway, I've got pepper. I've heard of cloud bread before, but I've never made it. I know what happened when we first started keto. Cloud bread was a big thing. So was um, fathead dough. But I knew right away when I saw you had to use a ton of mozzarella cheese in it and almond flour and stuff that we that wouldn't be for us. So I kind of stayed away from all of that. Well, the keto crowd kind of took the, what I understand is the, they took the cloud bread, took the sugar out of it, replaced it with uh, sweeteners and kind of like made it their own. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. And then everybody has added and created sure. their own version of well, it yeah, and put spices and seasonings and cooking it and done it. Well, like I said, who invented the first hamburger? Exactly. How many hamburgers are there out there? Right. There's thousands. How many How many pizzas are out there? There's thousands. You like deep dish. You like thin crust. You like crunchy crust. It's the same kind of thing. You know, you take it and you run with it. But yeah. I'm just excited. I we just found like, it. I just like the histories. 
So I'm excited about my bread. I'm excited to see how the crust looks. Oops, we're gonna know, because it's in 33 seconds here. So keep talking, want, Wendy. Well, no, back up. I want you to see, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna clear this, and then I'm gonna um, turn this back on. Let me see what it looks like. Now see, it's got a different crust texture. Can you see that? I'm trying to. Yeah, look at that. Look how tall. It's got it a crust. Move your hand. You've got a crust texture that's different. If the allulose is what makes a huge difference, and I've never made it without allulose, so I use two tablespoons. Let's put, let's let this stay, and it ro rose really nice. Let's do twenty minutes. Someone, I'm I'm talking here. So someone asked me. What's the deal with cream of tartar? Some people use half a teaspoon, some people use a whole teaspoon, some people use two, two teaspoons. Well, I Googled it because I wasn't sure. When I've been creating my recipes and stuff, you know, using it and using the egg whites and using cream of tartar, the official rule is an eighth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar per egg white. It helps the consistency of the egg whites and it helps them whip, I guess, but it depends on whose recipe it all is, who's doing what to it. When I'm tweaking my recipes or when I'm making one on the fly, because I do that quite a bit, um, you know, a half to, to a, table, a teaspoon is about right, maybe two teaspoons full. Um, and I guess it's, it's just whoever's making their recipe and what they want to use as far as cream of tartar is concerned. I don't ever taste it. Um, when you add some things to it, it kind of fluffs a little like baking soda does, or baking powder, not soda, like a baking powder does. So look it up and Google it. Because when I get busy being the mad scientist recipe person and I'm adding stuff, you know, I'm just seeing how it turns out. Then I sit back and I try to write it down like today, I wanted to make the savory season with the beef base bread. I want to taste it and see what it tastes like because I love the keto chow tomato basil bread in my Italian seasoning, seasoned bread. But I made my Italian seasoned bread for those of you who don't have keto chow or who can't get keto chow. And by the way, when you put seasoning, like poultry seasoning, or Italian seasonings in your bread, don't freak out the next day when there are discolored spots around the, the herbs because these are green and brown tones and they get in the bread and they kind of get a, a halo around them of a discoloration. So don't think it's mold because it's not. If it's just a day or two old, it's not but you're gonna see that in the bread. So remind me, Harry, to show people that when I cut right. the bread, okay. like tomorrow, when I cut the bread. Right, because they think so it's mold. They right? do, yeah. they do. It's like adding active dry yeast. It doesn't get to activate like it does with grains and real sugars in a warm environment where you put your bread in a warm environment so the yeast gets the cultures go crazy and they have the bread rising the egg whites don't do that but what the yeast does is give you the taste of that bread if that makes sense it doesn't go active on you because there's nothing to feed it there's no sugar to feed it so anyway i just wanted to give that information to everybody i'm going to heat these up and we're going to eat them for dinner but here you go folks we are done with today. Oh, we're going to show them the bread when it comes out. Right? Yes, I am. But we're done with today. And you guys, tomorrow is an 18-hour fast, 6-hour eating window. It's a regular keto day for you guys. Use your own macros. Eat your the food that you like, that works for you, and move your body. Yes, indeed. So I'm not going to take the bread out for about 16 minutes. <laughs> Yeah. We're having a calendar challenge again, you guys. Yeah, because you it's, know why? You, you want to know why? You how hard it is. Let me tell you why. Because in the beginning, you talk about this is what we're doing today. And at the end, you're talking about what we're doing tomorrow. Well, tomorrow is two days away. Right. So that's why I always get confused at the last day. I have blonde. I'm a blonde. You can't do that to me, Harry. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. 
What else am I gonna put on this? I have I'm my fine. Favorite. That's how I want it. Just Is that like that. That's how you want it. Okay. Okay. I got the bread. It's got 14 more minutes. We'll share it at the end, you guys. But I'm hungry. I'm gonna nuke these. I'm gonna sit down, kick my shoes off, and I'm gonna eat. Ooh, Harry, don't do that to me. I just read about cloud bread, Harry. You did, and three ingredients: egg whites. Uh, they suggested cream of tartar and sea salt. So yeah, I guess it's the original, original, original. Yeah. You know, unless there's an original before that, which I'm sure there is, because did it give you the time? Because I thought it was like 25 years, but I could that could be well. From the, Atkins was in the 70s. Yeah, I could be. You know, and could old. be wrong. You could be. You know, well, Atkins changed. Atkins. Original, then it went to Dr. Atkins Diet Revolution, and then it went to, you know, there's several different Atkins. But anyway, it's been around a while. So. Yeah, because I don't know when the article I read was written. I don't either. It could have been I really 25 wanna... years ago. Right. You know? And it said 25 years well, ago. Well, that 50, would make right? sense in the 70s. Yeah. That, that absolutely would make sense. Right. So I want to taste this bread because... It smells so good in here right now. Oh, I know it smells. It smells like fabulous. Thanksgiving. So if you guys like poultry seasoning, if you like your Italian seasoning, if you like your savory goodness, that garlic and onion and the Redmond seasoned salt, it's wonderful in either my Italian seasoned bread or in the uh, savory. Right. Bread, seasoned bread of mine that I use keto chow in. You don't have to use keto chow, but I highly recommend it. If you use the tomato basil, I highly recommend a teaspoon of the Italian seasoning. If you use the beef base, I highly recommend the poultry seasoning. You can make the bread without the keto chow, but man, it adds texture, it adds flavor, and it adds protein to make it even higher protein than it already is. But I'm gonna switch places with Harry because the alarm is gonna go off. I'm gonna turn it off and we've gotta get the bread out of the oven and I wanna take a look at it and see what it looks like using only two tablespoons of allulose. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. I'm surprised you got online and started reading Atkins stuff. I read stuff all the time. Well, probably when you're waiting for stuff to upload exactly. or do all of I've that. Got, like, sometimes I got two hours to just sit there because I can't do much, you know. All right. You want me to pull it all yeah. the way? Or? Yeah, take it and put it up on top. Ooh, Ooh those look, look there, very man. nice. Wow, they look good. Two, two teaspoons. Yes, yeah, see. Made it pretty nice. It made it prettier. That looks like real bread right there. It does. We'll push that in. Don't bang. Now it's got a little harder top to it. It's got a little harder crust but I don't mind that but you can feel the plumpness to uh -huh. it okay you guys we're gonna let this sit and we're gonna let this rest I'll share the bread and the texture okay you guys my savory bread is ready and I like the color of it with just the two tablespoons of allulose looks delicious let me make sure I've got Getting it out. Oh, well, nice. There you go. Feel that. That feels like regular bread. That feels nice. Oh, yeah, it does, doesn't it? That feels really nice, yeah. actually. We bought Jet Dry. We put it in the washing machine, but I hand washed this stuff, you guys. So let's give this a cut. Sounds a little crunchier on top, but it feels great once you get into the middle. There you go. This feels really nice. Now, keto chow, adding the keto chow makes it feel like heavier sourdough bread to me. Yeah, it does. I it's, just, see, got and holes in it, like, kind of waiting like overnight, and the smell of the, you can see the herbs right here. In this case, it's poultry. So tomorrow these could have a little halo around each of the herbs and that's fine. You guys, it smells, it smells so good. 
If you don't like onion powder, don't put it in. If you don't like garlic powder, don't put it in. But the onion, the garlic, the seasoned salt, the poultry seasoning. I love it. I love it plain. You can toast this and not put anything on it. I love this under my meat. Here, Harry, I want you to taste this. Look at the texture. Yeah, I can see it. Look at it, man. Really kind of, it's nice. It's, it's heavier. It's a doughier, like real bread. It doesn't have the meringueiness to it. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's good. Hmm. More texture like a, 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 a French bread. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Like it just got out of the oven. French bread. Yeah, like you know, those French rolls. bread is when you first take it out of the right. oven. Right. Mmm. I think that's the best one yet. You like that one better yeah. than even the tomato basil? I kind of yeah. like it. I like yes. the beef in it. You don't taste the beef. It gives it a hardiness. Yeah, that's it, hardiness. Also, isn't it moisture? It's not mm -hmm. sticking in your throat like the dry, plain. Well, it's not dry. Protein spray modified fast bread mm -hmm. is very dry at times. Yeah. That's not dry. All right. That's good. Okay, here you go like this if you guys don't have keto chow or you can't get keto chow make the savory bread with either the italian seasoning or the poultry seasoning add the all of the seasoning and the herbs and make it that way but if you have keto chow put a scoop of keto chow in here you guys won't believe it the difference in texture and yeah, it's not it dry in your throat it doesn't stick in your throat. Yeah, it's really good. And this is the beef. I don't taste any beef, but it makes the consistency so nice. It really does. And you guys, the crust is a little harder. Then allulose makes it more, more allulose, right. which would be a quarter of a cup, makes it more chewy. Would you say chewy? Yeah. Oh, now it's going to be interesting. It's like bread to me. You're going to see how it is uh, overnight, what it's like in here overnight. Let's see if the crust changes or the texture changes, but I am loving this. Yeah, that's really I'm really loving nice. the savory bread. Yeah. I'm really loving it with the beef keto chow. Yeah. The tomato basil gives it that tomato-y, Italian-y, you know, saucy taste to it. Yeah. This just makes it like French, fresh, French bread herb bread it's like a french herb bread right consistency so are you going to write this up as a recipe for everybody to be able to use yes or? i am i'm going to call it wendy's uh high protein savory bread recipe and because you know they're all going to ask for it right so, they are so and i will have i will pin it well, let's be tomorrow i'm going to publish it tomorrow yes i will publish it and pin it to the comment section because this is really good yeah. Um, I will put a note at the bottom in the recipe. You don't. You can make it without keto chow, but it's best to make it with keto chow because I'm telling you, this has got total bread consistency. Yeah. To and I'm gonna start using. It's my favorite right now. I'm gonna start using two tablespoons of the allulose because yeah. that and it I really always. Worked. And I've been using a little less uh, than a cup of the egg whites. I never pack it in because that just makes you, it so dry. Right. So I've been using less than a cup of egg whites, and I just used the two tablespoons of allulose, and I'm happy. Mm. I got brown bread. Yeah. It's beautiful. And it tastes delicious. So there you have it. High protein, herbal, or savory. Should we call it? Savory, yeah. Cause... Wendy's savory. No, Wendy's High Protein Savory Bread. I yeah, like that. That's Wendy's it. High Protein Savory Bread. Got to call it something, something for my right? recipes. Because yeah. it's really good. Right. It's really good. And I know that the Redmond Seasoned Salt has a big difference in this too. It really... All the seasonings have a huge difference. And you guys can drop it down to a quarter of a teaspoon if, if it's too strong for you. And you can change the... Um, poultry or Italian seasoning to half a teaspoon instead of a whole teaspoon but man this is really good you guys it really is anyway you guys I think we're gonna go ahead and close out today hope everybody had a great day and hope you guys enjoy the bread 
Don't forget to remember to like, subscribe, ring the little bell, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night, everyone. This is really good. Oh, I'm gonna make, I, you know that boar's head chicken, chicken I got? Yeah. That's, that's going for a sandwich tomorrow, man. Oh, yeah, this is really, this is my favorite. This is your favorite? Yep. I really like it. it Look has at that. Great it's very bread. It's bread. Yeah, it's just like bread. It's, it's kind of amazing.